Um, my father would not join the synagogue, and if he, and I think if he would have wanted to, he wouldn't have because for, he just wanted new parts of a synagogue, and and I don't know why, I I, I really don't. Uh, so where all my friends were going to Hebrew school, um, my father tried to get me to go to a folk shul, uh, but he didn't have the money to pay for it, and I was embarrassed to carry a quarter every once in a while and give it to the teacher. And besides that, they were my friends were going to uh, Hebrew school two days a week, and I they wanted me to come to folk shul five days a week. And as a result, I really never spent much time at the folk shul to learn uh, and uh, continue my Yiddish. Uh, and I sort of regret that, but, but that was the way it was at the time. Uh, as I got older and I got married and I got involved in the synagogue myself, I got involved in the religious school and I helped to write a curriculum for a synagogue for their religious school. And I did a lot of research then and studying to bring my Jewish education up, but not my language. I taught Jewish history, so I read Jewish history. I taught Jewish customs, so I read up on Jewish customs. And I put together the curricula, and I helped put together the rest of the curricula for the uh, remaining remainder of the school. And I had help from the rabbi and from a few uh, better educated uh, people in the congregation than, uh, than myself. And we put together a curriculum there, and I taught over the five years that we were members there. And that served as the base for my then doing the research and putting together the curriculum for Beth Chaim. Uh, I, uh, I found it very enlightening to me because I had to study, I had to go by.